Security. How's a guy supposed to break out of here? Don't be a stranger. He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. At least he's back where he belongs. Get up! I set a trap, and you sprang it gloriously! Now let's get this party started! <laughs> There's no escape, Joker. I don't want to escape. I'm having way too much fun. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight... Hasn't even begun. <laughs> Joker here. I'm in control of Arkham Island. And you can all consider it out of bounds. If I see any lawmen, vigilantes, or do-gooders in tights coming this way, I'll start detonating random bombs around the city. My name's Shefton Hill, Game Director on Batman Arkham Asylum. Today I'll be demoing one of the challenge mode maps to give you just a small taster of the invisible Predator gameplay in Batman. Let's start with looking at what is Predator gameplay. Deep inside Arkham Asylum, Batman is faced with insurmountable odds. The place is full of Joker's henchmen chipped in from Blackgate, and they're armed and ready for him. And as we all know, Batman is not superhuman. They know you're coming, but they don't know where or how. So Predator gameplay is all about using Batman's advantages, his intelligence, his agility, his gadgets, and his ability to plan and prepare before striking. So here we have Joker's henchmen all grouped tightly together, and I need to figure out a way to break them up and get them moving around the level. What's that supposed to mean? So I'll drop down here behind this weak wall and use my explosive gel to set a trap. I can explode the gel and use the debris from the wall to knock out the henchmen behind it. I found someone over here! Come on, break up! Damn it, he's a cold! And what we're gonna see here is an example of the dynamic gameplay. They're gonna start searching for me around the room. They don't know where I am, but I could be anywhere. 
There are no set patrol paths for the thugs, and every time you play the game, it's different. So even me demoing the game for you, I have no idea what's going to happen. What are we going to do? And the challenge mode has a number of specific takedowns that you need to try and achieve. I need help! You're on your own, man. Rules have changed. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's try a more aggressive takedown. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at just a few of the invisible predator features in Batman Arkham Asylum. I really am going to have to hunt you down and kill you one of these days. Get behind me, now. Bane. Cut me down. Who did this to you? Sorry, Hasbane. You have one chance to surrender, Quinn. Tempting bats, but no dice. Now the inmates are running the asylum. Bye-bye for now. This time, I break you!
feels so much better. Yes, I know he's found us, but I won't let him hurt you. I'll kill him first. I won't let you destroy it, Batman. I was a fool. I thought the plants were in pain. Now I realize they were evolving, growing stronger. into the asylum. You're just taking him home. The very place he knows best. <laughs> Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for three. Ta-da! <laughs> oh! Played you like a violin and cut your strings. <laughs> Let's finish this. Exclusively on PlayStation 3. City's criminally insane. 
But as Arkham Asylum's most demented inmate returns... Look at all this new security. How's a guy supposed to break out of here? Don't be a stranger. Chaos will be unleashed. Face Batman's greatest challenge yet. Become the fear that strikes from the darkness. using dynamic combat. Think like the world's greatest detective. This trail will lead me straight to Dr. Young. Or her notice. Challenge Gotham City's greatest villains <laughs> in the battle for Arkham. Help me! Batman Arkham Asylum. It's over, Joker. Over? It hasn't even begun. My name is Carlos de Anda. I am an artist at Wildstorm, and I am the artist on Batman Arkham Asylum, the comic book for the upcoming game. My name is Alan Burnett. I'm a producer with Warner Brothers Animation. My involvement with the game is writing the comic book, Road to Arkham, which precedes the game. I enjoy writing comic books more than uh, screenplays or teleplays. I've been working with Batman since 1991. This is the first comic book that I have written expressly for Batman. I fell in love with comics since I was a kid. My involvement was to do a little prequel comic book to build the drama of the game. The comic book, when you read it, has some clues as what to expect in the game. There's some mysterious stuff that the comic book hints to. It'll be a pretty cool way to read that right before you start to play the game. It enhances the whole experience. Batman was very difficult. The hard part was straddling that fine line between a guy that still looks like the Batman that we all know without going into the Batman that we know now in the movies. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Everybody's favorite villain is the Joker. You can't beat the Joker. He's just the opposite of Batman. My favorite character to reimagine was probably the Joker. It's such a cool character that you just can't help but want to draw the guy. I thought it was great that they're doing this comic book, Road to Arkham. I read a lot of material about the game before writing the comic book. It was a kick to do it. The tone they wanted was a lot darker and a lot more gruesome, I guess, in some ways, and just more realistic, which hadn't really been done before. Hopefully, they'll be able to buy into the reality of the characters that I designed for that game. The experience of designing for a game, I think it's actually very similar to drawing a page because it really all just boils down to problem solving. I think Rocksteady's done a terrific job. It's just packed with energy, so I'm excited to see the finished product when it comes out. The fans' reaction, I thought, was really the most rewarding thing. It makes me very, very happy. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional dark knight. It hasn't even begun. I hope you enjoy this Batman Arkham Asylum comic, exclusively available in Finland at Tilt Stores.
Dementia took her. With my inheritance, I can begin working to cure the world's ailments. The name Amadeus Arkham will become legendary. September 1920. A radical step must be taken to combat Gotham City's diseased. February 1921. Construction has begun on the Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane. Finally, I will be able to treat my patients properly. April 1st, 1921. Returned home today to find my family murdered by my patient Martin Hawkins. I feel oddly detached. September 17th, 1921. Today I begin treatment of Martin Hawkins. I will rehabilitate this man. April 2nd, 1922. During treatment with Hawkins, I resorted to extreme measures. It proved more than he could sustain. June 4th, 1923. Gotham City is lost. The lunatics are irrepressible, incurable. The only sensible treatment, eradication. October 18, 1923. Am I a doctor or a murderer? I can no longer differentiate. I will give my last breath to deal with the filth that infects Gotham City. think you can win? Oh, a little bad. just love this place. It has a nice, antiseptic feel about it, don't you think? Clean, modern. There's nothing to worry about. Batman is on the way, but there's an army of you in there. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance! Stop him!
listen. Arkham Asylum remains under lockdown. Its staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Come here, get them off me. Starting to see things my way.